leaving the Bronchi. We're heading to Kelwag City to catch the DLTB bus, which is a Del Monte bus line, uh, which will take us all the way to Manila. Yes, we are traveling by bus. Questions that uh, I get asked a lot, based on my travels anyway, is why we choose to take the bus from points in the Philippines to other points versus taking the airplane. And uh, there's a lot of reasons, and I can cover a lot of them. One of the questions many viewers pose to me is: take, is is actually taking the bus a safe way to travel? That's a very subjective question. If you've ever traveled the roads in the Philippines, you know some of them could be pretty nice, but they don't come without their hazards. And just about the time you take your eye off the road for one skinny minute, something's going to pop up. Well, before I uh, talk a little bit about why we take the bus, uh, let me explain where we're at here. We, uh, we picked up our DLTB or Del Monte bus line bus in Galbayag City and we made about the two hour trip up the west coast of Samar to the port of Allen where the, uh, the bus will be placed on a ferry and the ferry will make the two hour, roughly two hour trip to the port of Matnog on, in Bicol province. From there which is just a straight shot to Manila. But the nice thing about traveling by bus is you get, it does make quite a few stops and uh, you get to deal with the vendors and pick up things you might need, any, anything from cell phone cables to uh, buco pies and that's what I like. I like the fresh buco pies. Here we've got to pick up our tickets for the ferry boat and then it'll be on to the, uh, onto the dock through the entrance weapon scanner which nobody is manning by the way. Um, here we're going to pick up our, I think our, we got our tickets, so now we're going to get our departure ticket, our terminal fee, which I'll get my discount on, and I'll pick up a regulatory cost fee of about five pesos, so then we'll be ready to go. First we need to do that, and I got my discount. Then we have to do that. Then we need to go through the gate. Once we got all three of our tickets, it's on to the dock and it's on to find our ferry boat. Some days when there might be two or three boats in here, you've got to really be careful and make sure you get on the right boat. Uh, but today there's just only one boat and we've already spotted our bus on the boat. So um, there's no doubt that this is, this is the right boat. So from here, it's just uh, climb aboard and head on up to the passenger lounge. Hope that it's air conditioned once we get there, or hope that the air conditioning is working once we get there. And then uh, we'll just chill out for a couple hours. Well, the aircon's working. You can hear the wind noise as I walk by with the camera. And there's manicures going on. There's vendors selling their wares, and uh, it's not hard to find a seat usually if you get on the boat early enough. So I guess I'll just sit here and watch boxing or some other things and chill out for the next couple hours. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Time to get off. Only one thing stands in our way now between between here and Manila, and that's an angry volcano. 
hope my own is being nice today. And one of the first things we spotted when we got off the off the ferry boat and started in through the mountains was a bus in the ditch. There, right there. Not something you want to see when you're taking bus, but uh, and that goes back uh, or takes us back to the question whether traveling by bus is actually safe in the Philippines. Um, here's the way I look at it. You know, there's there's so many buses that make this the travel throughout the Philippines from all points, and the number of bus accidents uh, as a ratio compared to the number of buses is actually pretty small. And I know the Philippine government has really taken some proactive steps here recently to to cut down on the number of accidents by getting these drivers to slow down. So we've never had a problem. Um, I mean, I don't think uh, we've even come close to even having an accident. Uh, although sometimes you think <laughs> you've met, had a few fl close calls here and there, but um, usually it's a pretty relaxing ride. Cold, but relaxing. Another reason we like taking the bus is the scenery. Oh look, there's a Southern Baptist Church in the Philippines. Uh, but the scenery, uh, a lot of times, is uh, is kind of nice, uh, and you don't get to see it from the air, definitely. Um, and you definitely don't get to see the big giant bottle of Swan soy sauce that uh, you'll always miss if you take an airplane. And there's Mount Mayon. Um, Thank goodness she's not angry today, or uh, I don't know what happens with all the traffic and when she's blowing her top, but I think some traffic sometimes is stopped, but today we went right by. And, um, and then, when you least expect it, the driver has to take a pee, and he stops, and all the male passengers get off, and they do the same thing. They all pee. Shake it good, guys. Sorry, ladies. You'll have to wait. And then it's the ladies' turn. We are at Beloy's Cabayan Pit Stop, a normal pit stop for a lot of the buses that are traveling through. And uh, somewhere I seen a sign that says hamburgers, but I must have dozed off and was dreaming because it's not like I'm going to find hamburgers in southern Bicol. Ah, the old Burgeroo. I uh, seen this and went right to the counter and asked them about their burgeroo and they all acted like they didn't know what I was talking about. So I guess I'll just have to wait till I get to Manila. Then I'll have pizza. Alright, well we've made it through uh, the coal region and we're, we're uh, coming into Metro Manila. And uh, I guess I can get back on track with uh, whether how whether it's safe to take buses or not, but you got to consider these facts um, because the roads in the Philippines always tend to be crowded, and because everybody drives too fast, many vehicles are on the road are not safe. Nobody follows the rules, and there, all that is just a recipe for another accident waiting to happen. And it doesn't matter what you're driving or riding in. And you really don't have to be riding in any vehicle to be a casualty. I've seen pedestrians get run over by buses. One of the other benefits that, uh, for us anyway, that we've experienced is uh, transportation by bus is much cheaper than flying. Airfares have gone just through the roof these last couple of years. Um, and because we're, where we live in Calbayag City in Samar, there are no longer any direct flights from Calbayag City to Manila. We have to go to either Clark or uh, fly out of Tacloban, Katarman, or, or uh, Catbalogan to get directly to Manila. So in m many cases it's just faster just to jump on a bus to get to Manila. Another thing is uh, it's a convenience factor um, especially when traveling with a lot of luggage. In our case if we're planning international travel we know we can uh, uh, we know our luggage limits are greater on international flights than they are on domestic flights so we can take our international weight limits with us on the bus and that's not a problem and when we get to the bus terminal in Manila either Pasay or Cubao we just unload and call a grab ride to our hotel like I mentioned earlier we're never in a hurry and always plan to get to Manila early anyway so in summary taking a bus is cheaper
it's more convenient for us and that I guess it depends on where you live you can leave early and take your time seeing more of the sights you can take in a movie and relax if you can and if you want to hedge your bets on safety only use the bus lines that adhere to passenger capacity limits uh, warn your driver when you climb aboard for example when I climb aboard and uh, I first make eye contact with the driver I always make sure to tell him you drive safe now Deba uh, he gets my message and uh, it always weighs on the back of his mind I guess why not right and if you ever see two nuns sitting in the front seat that's probably a good bus to get on and with that I'll leave you with some street scenes of Manila and sit back relax and enjoy the ride thanks for watching